Floyd Mayweather stepped to the podium after his 10th round knockout of Ricky Hatton and, as has been the form after his previous 38 victories, he had plenty of compliments for his opponent. I mean, Ricky Hatton is one hell of a, one hell of a fighter. He's tough. I take my hat off to him. Nothing but the utmost respect. And um, I told you guys I was going to give you guys a, a toe-to-toe battle. I was going to fight a little bit in the inside, a little bit on the outside. I mean, uh, you see Ricky Hatton. I mean, he beat uh, Constant Zoom. A tough opponent, and uh, he done something with Castillo that I didn't do. He knocked him out, so it was it was a match that 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 had to happen. You know, he he would ask him. So a couple of times I heard him screaming like, uh, "Get him, get him!" I wasn't worried. I said, "Baby, he ain't gonna get me tonight. Not not this night. If he is gonna get me on the night, it ain't gonna be tonight." You know, I, I fought my way from the, from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top. I used to never cry, never complain when they used to match me with different opponents. I just say I want to beat the best that they got out there to offer. You know, I had to get extra rest for this fight because I knew that this kid was going to bring his A game. Tough as nails. And a couple times I was like, damn, he ain't going nowhere yet. And I had him hurt. Had him hurt a couple times. I'm like, damn, he's still coming. Hatton, who was considerably behind on the judges' scorecards when the fight was stopped, showed his sense of humor didn't get knocked out of him. Uh, what can I say? Uh... I was doing all right till I f- slipped. But <laughs> <laughs> I gave it my best. I think, um, I think when I got to about round maybe five, six, I thought I was doing what I was, what I was working, and um, it was a bit of a rough and tumble inside. You know, we was both doing a little bit of bit of holding and a bit of forearms and a bit of you know all well, that grappling stuff that goes along and. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, hell of a fighter, right tactics, you know, he, uh, and he wasn't, uh, he wasn't scared of when he got close, you know, to give me a bit of, you know, a bit of rough stuff back, you know, and that's what a, what a good champion's all about. I think before the, I think before the fight, Floyd knew I could fight. Uh, I certainly know now, I certainly know now he can fight. All week, one of the major storylines has been the invasion of British fans, and both fighters were blown away by them. I've never seen support of a British fighter what you what they what they give me this weekend. It was absolutely first class. Bring the t- tear to your eye. The UK fans, you guys are unreal, unbelievable. There's only one Mayweather, there's only one Mayweather. He talks the talk and he walks the walk, walking to the money land. <laughs> I'm getting a bit sick of that f-ing song now myself, to be honest with you. <laughs>